Hi guys, Kirk and Jason here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. What I'm going to show you guys today is how we plaster around these round aluminum vents. Um, these guys really aren't made for stucco. Uh, they're like 50 cents at Home Depot or so, but they're made for wood. They don't have any flange here. You drill your exact hole and you put them in wood and they go flush. For stucco, I've, I mean, I've gone over these about 50 times. Uh, hopefully this will be the last time I go over them. But when we're doing it out of stucco, it becomes a drag because these are so fragile. The Luvler, it is so fragile. It's like an egg, these things. You just barely touch them and they're broke. Uh, anyhow, so we got about 20 of these. I guess the engineer figured out the math as far as how much to get air in here. What, what we're going to do is... I stuck them in there and then I had to use a caulking that would not only bond this metal to the paper but seal them. Anyhow, uh, these are made for wood guys, but I, I get a lot of that stuff. What I'm going to sh really show you is how we get around them. Of course, I got all the vents here. I marked them because once I plaster all this, I'm not going to see them, but I'll know where they are. Okay guys. I'm not showing you how to apply stucco on this particular video. I'm just showing you how to get in here and float all this. This is a, um, a float finish, meaning we use a lot of um, water in our float. Okay, first I was going between it, but I couldn't get it underneath this uh, gutter. So I put it in hard and forced it in there. Now what I do is I take a float bucket and actually, let's see here. What I do is, I want it to go under this gutter here, so I'm going to dirty these vents once more. That's okay, we, we dirty them up. And this wall is, is just applied. So now, in order to get those guys, I'm going to a lot of times in this bucket. I'm going to dip a lot of times, so I'm going to uncover each one. Okay, there's that one. Mark, and granted, I marked these guys for a real good reason. I will lose them and just float it out like so. Take me a little bit, a little bit of time to find them and float, float away from them, just like that. So I'm going to continue finding each one and floating away from it because I want the mud to stay above it and not fall out. And after I get each one, which uh, it'll take me about oh, another 15 minutes to go all the way through. So what I'll do is I'll terminate it right here and I'll give you an idea. Now you got to pull the gloves off and get this nasty stuff on you. All right, get both of these gloves off. And peel this stuff off and of course there's going to be a little stucco residue on every single vent. Not just one, it does go behind this blue tape. And if I use red tape, the red tape will pull the vents out of the hole even though I got them bonded in there with a really good caulking. So the blue is what I use on here because I, I don't want it to stick too tight. The red again, the, the uh, the vinyl tape we use a lot of, we'll just yank them right out of it. Okay, say for example, now that that's done, I would take my water bucket, and I need clean water at the very tip of this. Uh, this float here, it's gotta be pretty clean, so I'll take it this way, and I'll take it that way. Now my float is somewhat dirty, so I gotta dip it back in the water. The whole thing is just repeated like this, this way, that way, dip it back in the water. Because when I touch these vents, it dirties the float. So if I go back over the vent with a dirty float, well, then I'll have to clean it again. And here we go. And if it comes down, just push it right back up. And you just keep putting that float into the float bucket and go away from the vent. Because again, if I get mud on those vents, it clogs those little bitty lubelers which are fragile to begin with. Uh, they're like very, very fragile. So anyhow, I'll share one last piece here and we clean it like that. Then I'll take my float and get all those little float lines out. And that's what it's supposed to look like. It's gonna take me another 
15 minutes, half hour to finish all these. But anyhow, I wanted to show you how you stucco over something very fragile like this. Uh, again, these are not made for stucco, but we've seen them about, in 30 years I've seen this about 20 times, and about 20 times I've done this. Uh, again, like I said earlier, hopefully it's my last time doing this. Anyhow, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Dodano Plastering. And by the way, this again is a float finish. We just, uh, we did the scratch and we're just floating it right now. And so we float this in. Uh, that KG just means my youngest son, Dan, is not too busy. My name's Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Thank you folks for watching. And as usual, Jay and I will see you on the next one.